Hello all, welcome back. Today we will be discussing about how to install Cassandra in Linux. So far till yesterday we have been discussing about various topics like what are the software required for installing a Cassandra cluster and then how to install Linux operating system over the virtual machine. Here we are using CentOS and thereafter we have discussed about how to configure a static IP in the Linux and we know that why why to configure a static IP and thereafter we have installed Java we have said then remand variables and everything is ready now we will move to the Cassandra setup let's open the virtual machine VMware player all right let me connect from here. And we have already downloaded it. So just drag and drop this Apache Cassandra to SFTP and then drag this file. It's quite simple, so flexible. So if I do SLS, yeah, I can find it. So let me unzip it tar minus x z v f and then file name enter. So we have the files ready. So I want to just rename this existing Apache Cassandra 3.11.2. I don't want such a big name. I want to rename it as Cassandra. Simple okay so here is the Cassandra here there is one more step we need to set the environment variables you already know how to set environment variables let's go ls minus lrt we have that bash profile let's open bash profile bash profile and then here we just need to add a Cassandra home so let's add cassandra underscore home equals to in the home directory we have cassandra so we need to add to the path as well append with colon and then dollar cassandra underscore home slash bin and then save it now to make these changes immediately come into effect we need to execute it so let's execute it so I have executed it now let's check Cassandra home echo Cassandra home bah. let's check the path echo dollar path yes now everything is ready our setup is ready let's go to the cassandra folder and here you can go to conf and here see the cassandra yaml file <coughs> this is the file where we configure all the properties related to the server it's very simple few parameters we need to change let's go ahead and open cassandra yaml file now the first one is the cluster name what is a cluster okay let's get back and have a simple overview of a cluster is the collection of nodes you see here node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 node 5 nodes these nodes are communicating among each other and this is called as a cluster and we are naming we are giving some name to this cluster okay each of the node has a cassandra installation over there and each Cassandra installation has an ML file and then each ML file it should have same name so let me take a test okay my cluster name is test now let me get down and check what are all I have to change if you see here hints directory so by default it says in the Cassandra home directory under data hence it will be stored okay I want it be to be default if you want to store it somewhere else you can change it as per your convenience 
the data by default it stores in data I, I can leave it as it is and then commit log even this has a default path under Cassandra home CDC raw and so here it is the seed I want to keep this as the current IP 192.168.202.143 if you want to use just this single node, this node as a single node cluster, you do not need to mention this IP address. You can use, you can just uh, bring up the server and write, uh, use the Cassandra right away. But I want to make a two node cluster. So in order to make these two nodes communicate with each other, there should be some proper IP. Instead of local host, there should be some proper IP so that each of the nodes can communicate with each other. So I have given the seed node. What is this seed node? Yeah. So now the seed node is. It's nothing but uh, when the when we are bringing the cluster up, these nodes there should be a way. There should be a way for these nodes to join the cluster. Now, to join this cluster, any one of the nodes should take the some lead role. We can't say the lead role as well, but at the time of bootstrapping, we call it as bootstrapping. At the time of start this node will listen to the seed node this node will listen to the seed node so using the seed node these rest of the nodes will join the cluster they will get all the properties of the cluster basing on the seed node so once they join they do not require or they do not have any dependency on the seed node anymore this is just for bootstrap that means just to join the cluster we need this seed, na seed name so I am saying this will be the seed node 143 so throughout all the nodes we need to provide the same seed node so whatever the nodes you want to be in the same cluster the same the cluster name should be test and then the seed should be this one 143 and we can give multiple seeds as well separated by comma for now i'm using only one okay listen address listen address is if the rest of the nodes want to communicate with this node we should provide some IP address that is this 192.168.202.143 this is the IP the listen address means what all the other nodes will listen to so to in order to listen to this node they will communicate via this IP so in rest of the nodes as well we need to configure their own corresponding IP but the seed node will be common for all the nodes okay now let's go to RPC address this RPC address these two we need to give the self self IP 192.168.202.143 this is for the clients to communicate with the node to, in order to connect to this we use the rpc address and we will change the gossiping property in property endpoint snitch here okay and this is it escape colon wq save now i have done the configurations and if you want to see this cassandra rack dc properties you can see it here so this is the dc name data center name and this is the rack name so for now we will keep it as it is okay now we have done all the required setup all we have to do is just bring the server up all the configurations are done okay so how do we do that cd bin here we have the installation all the files that we have to run uh, we know the path where all the directories like the cache the data everything is being saved so inside the cassandra here we should create a directory data and give the 777 okay 
so you see the highlight green color so it means that it has all the privileges now let's go back to the bin now let's run cassandra nsf ready let's go so in the meanwhile we will duplicate this tab and let's go to the directory so it's just not starting our PC you don't need no tool starting listening for SQL clients on this IP so 143 is the IP let's get back CD Cassandra so we have CD bin so here we need to use SQL SH the file and then IP and press enter so we have connected to SQL SH so if you see describe key spaces they are similar to schemas in oracle we have the key space okay let's use any system and inside that let's take describe tables you have so many tables select start from peers limits limit to one this is the table there is no data in this so this is how we set up a single node cluster in the next video we are going to add one more node to this cluster okay till then bye bye